Hello guys, welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video, I'm gonna to show you how you can create sports blog website with WordPress. So if you want to create your attractive websites, then without learning any programming languages like HTML and Java, you can go with this WordPress platform. If you want to start your own sports portal and make it reach to the huge number, then it's the best platform for you to create your own websites. So before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. Before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser search for domain racer or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com so guys here i'm not going to buy the hosting because i already having it with domain racer and i really love their services because they have very great services they also have instant support as you can see support chat is here so you can talk to them directly and you can directly contact to the salesperson also if you are having any of the technical issues so I am only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open domain racer website on the top you can see domain is here. So click into this domain option and search for domain. Also make sure while searching for a domain try to search for the name which is relevant to your website. It means the keyword of your website should be in domain. So talking about sports blog website I will search for my sports and click into search option now you can see there are different suggestions coming up so the domain which are available here is so the first domain is my-sports-live.com and the second is mysportslive.org the third one is myfantasysportslive.com so guys, if you are a developer and digital marketer, then I'll suggest you to go with .com domain because it will show your presence globally and it also help to rank your website on top. And once you select the .com domain, you can click to this add to cart. And now you can go to the web hosting. But as I earlier said that I already having hosting with domain racer, so I am skipping this hosting part. Now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again you can go to the domain racer website and after this you can see this login option so click into this login option here. Now you have your credentials to login. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to login to the account. And once you log into your account you will see the services and the products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services from here. Once you click on the shared hosting and domain, you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys here I am directly going to the cPanel. Then we will enter the ID and the password then click into login option. And now you can see the cPanel account. Once you log into cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to the bottom. and. In the software menu, you can see this option WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click into this option, and now you will see that there's option WordPress Management. Also, there are three options: Install, Scan, and Manage Sets. So you can click into Install option, and here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top, you can see it's asking for choose a version. So also try to choose the latest version because it will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. Now here it's coming for site name. The site name would be your website name that means your domain name that will represent your website. So it was my sports and now it's asking for site description and the site description you can give like for example I'm giving here is hey this is my sport blog and now also you can see there's id and password so you can change it according to your need. So I'm keeping it as same admin and admin. Now turn to choose a language. So it's English. You can change the language according to your need and comfort. Then coming to the last part to select the theme. So first click into show all themes. 
and now you can see there are different themes which you can choose from it so it was about sports blog so i'll search for sport and now here you can see there's no match found for it so i'll click to here sports and here you can see there are three different themes so i'll select this one if you want to see the demo of this theme you can also click to this demo option so guys finally i'm going to select this theme only here and then click into this install option as you can see it's installing now it might take some time as you can see this may take up to 3 to 4 minutes you can read it from here it depends upon your internet speed how fast your internet is working so let it be because this is the mandatory part you cannot skip this part so we will wait for some few minutes more now after completing the second part you can move to the last part how you can customize your theme and how you can give the right and attractive look to your website so let's move to the third part guys now you are done with the installation part also you can see on my screen congratulations the software was installed successfully also you have given two different links the first link when you click into the first link you can able to see how your website will look like and this is how your website will going to look like. now coming back to second link that is administrative url from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your wordpress dashboard so click on this and it will redirect you to the wordpress dashboard and as you can see here so talking about the role of this dashboard so let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website as you can see either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely so you can also enhance your content with blocks and patterns you can do the changes from left side also like if you want to add post new post then you can click into this post option now also if you want to add any media then you can add from here also if you want to add any new page then you can do it from here if you want to manage your comments then you can do it from here by clicking on appearance we can see there are different options coming up and you can customize your themes from here too if you want to add any new plugin then click into this plugin option also if you want to make any other user to handle your website so you can add that user from this section we can also see that there are different tools which are available so guys coming back to the website as on the top you can see this my sports if you remember it was the name of the website i have given at that time and now you can see in the heading hey this is my sport blog and if you remember it was the description i have given at the time of the installation so these all are the demo photos you can see so you can also change it just you need to coming back to the dashboard and here you can see start customizing option so click into this it will let you to do all the changes to your website Let's suppose if you want to make changes in the header footer template and pages so you can click into this and after click into header so as you can see it's preparing interface and now you can change it from here you can add any of the thing in the header part now coming back to this you can also change the template according to your need as you can see it's preparing interface here so you can change any template from here only next if you want to make change in the home page then click into home and from here you can see it's preparing interface and so from here scrolling down you can change any of the thing or photos you want to change on your own so guys i hope it will help you to start your own sports blog website through wordpress that's it for today keep watching pc tips pro